More calls tonight for George Santos to resign from Congress, this time from Republican leadership in his own district. But CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports Santos is digging in. Republicans showing off a unified front, heading off any greater damage to their party, say observers, caused by newly sworn in Congressman George Santos. His lies were not mere fibs. He disgraced the House of Representatives. Dozens of GOP leaders called on George Santos to immediately resign. It's time to go. It's time to get out. And if this gentleman was in any other profession, he would be fired immediately. George Santos does not have the ability to serve here in the House of Representatives and should resign. Stepping out of his office in D.C., Santos was asked if he would resign. I will not. And he tweeted those same sentiments. Santos's Queen's office, still with predecessor Tom Suozzi's name, appeared open for the first time. Do we expect to see Mr. Santos here in his congressional office? No, oh, that, that's, that's to be determined. A person who tells that length and breadth of lies built one on top of the other is not a normal person. He needs to get help. They blasted Santos's fabricated Holocaust background, fake finances, embellished resume, including Baruch College, a school he never attended. That he was a star on the Baruch volleyball team and that they won the league championship. And what can I tell you? The Republican strategy now. They decided they had to get ahead of this or it could cost them not only if there is another race anytime soon for the third congressional district, but other races. Both parties say vetting candidates must now be more thorough. I'm Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.